the Giant Clam project is one of the longest running projects of the Bolinao Marine Lab. It's actually what started, I think, um, this this uh, particular facility. Because in the 70s, Dr. Gomez, the founder of the UP Marine Science Institute, um, started working on this project, and um, they managed to get some clams from Australia, Solomon Islands. You know, naging parang good stock namin dito. And now we have you've, you've seen them. There's thousands of them in the nursery. Tatlong groups, so parang tatlong different sets of animals. So they were transported as babies from from the Solomons from Australia, and now they've. Nanganak na sila. Um, there's different uh, species, di ba? So nakita nyo yung iba-ibang kinds. Um, they're all vulnerable to extinction. Um, the gigas, the biggest one, is actually locally extinct, or it was locally extinct, or it still is in lots of areas of the Philippines. Kaya siya yung parang naging focus no conservation project. Um, kasi wala, hindi na siya halos nakikita sa anywhere else in the Philippines. You've seen the area. It's really there's very special characteristics. Because ano siya, um, it's very protected. You can see, di ba, when you're when you're out in the water, you see yung parang white na waves where the waves are breaking. That means that hindi umaabot dun sa site sa silaki yung yung lakas ng alon. So it's a very relatively well protected reef. It's shallow because kailangan ng clams ng maraming sunlight. And it's also away from a lot of the aquaculture activities happening. So parang malinis yung tubig, maraming sunlight, and it's peaceful for the clams. So they're able to grow to the big size. From the broodstocks, once they reach a certain age, which is about mga 8 to 10 years old when they're about this big, they're already capable of producing yung female, yung eggs. So what we do is we go out in the field um, we inject them with a particular substance to induce the release of the eggs and sperm. Then we bring those eggs and sperm back here to the hatchery and we put them in the tanks. And then we take care of them until they grow to about mga, um, 5 centimeters in size. And then we bring them back out to the hatchery to the nursery rather, para sila mas lalong gumilis yung pagtubo. They're very vulnerable to predators when they're still small. They have no defenses, di ba? So we put them in the boxes, in the cages. Um, when they're this small, they're in the cages. And then when they grow mga 20 centimeters in size, pwede na silang ilapag sa, sa floor ng dagat. But we still cover them. May, may nakita kayo siguro may naka may net para hindi sila maabot ng mga isda, mga crabs. And then, pag medyo mas malalaki na sila, yun, medyo hindi na sila vulnerable to predators. And so, and we have to keep taking care of them. Um, Namit nyo si July, he's the one who goes out with our lab aids. Binabrushan nila yung mga clams pag baby pa. Tinatanggalan ng mga lumot para maximum, they get maximum sunlight so that it promotes their growth. The big challenge, I think, is really Getting the man, getting enough funds to get the manpower to take care of the clams. But uh, the, the other thing is that um, you you saw the nursery; it's far away from the lab, so hindi namin siya nababantayan. Wala kami tao na kabantay, so minsan na wala ng clams, di ba? So um, we're also trying to work with the Bolinao um, municipality, the local government, to find a way wherein. The clams are taken care of by the local Silaki community um, while being, kasi binibisita na rin siya ng mga tourists. So we want to make sure that the tourists can enjoy the clams, learn about the clams, but at the same time to make sure the clams are protected, hindi sila inaangat or naapakan. So we're trying to just, we've just started really um, getting into talks with the, with the LGU to put the the things in place para magawa namin yun.